Today we have with us leading IVF specialist, Dr. Kostantinos Bandos, who is here from Greece, and also popular Greek Australian entertainer, Mary Kustas. Thank you both for joining us. Now, Dr. Bandos, can you please tell us more about your work as an IVF specialist and a researcher, which has helped bring over 40,000 babies into the world? Um, when I left Australia and came back to Greece, I started from scratch, slowly building up. Uh, through good work uh, with uh, one biologist in the beginning and uh, one secretary. Now I've got 110 people personnel. It's the largest center in Greece uh, and it's become the largest center just by uh, giving happiness and being productive as far as uh, child uh, bringing children into life. Uh, we have couples now coming from all over the world, mainly from the States and from Australia and from Europe. Dr. Bandos, what do you think makes Greece a leader in IVF and what does your clinic in Athens offer to couples which they may not be able to find in other parts of the world? Uh, in the same uh, way uh, in Greece we're helping uh, couples coming from other countries where uh, legislation is much more difficult than in Greece. In Greece it's much more relaxed and lax. Um, they can, uh, we can do methods that will not be probably done in these countries or we can go and individualize uh, methods in uh, the couple's needs in order to be more effective. That's wonderful. Now Mary, you've been very open with the world about your journey to motherhood and how it was a roller coaster of a ride for you. Now not only did you have over 23 rounds of IVF, but sadly you had an absolutely heartbreaking experience before you gave birth to your gorgeous little girl Jamie, who turns four in a few days. Now can you please tell us about your years of trying? Well, there comes a point in Australia where, uh, of a certain age, if you're a, uh, of a certain age, you, you're hitting your head up against a brick wall of denial. And um, you, you have one negative attempt after another, after another. And sometimes the answers aren't here for you to have. And then you have a conversation with one person that changes the course of your life, that brings you closer to your dream. And I was very lucky that I had a conversation with one of my IVF doctors after my 15th uh, negative result and he was such a compassionate beautiful man and he said to me um, I want you to consider meeting up with these doctors who have a great relationship with doc Dr. Pantos um, going to Greece um, to a place that uh, is so pro-family who is um, you know a place that they're so um, proud of uh, their achievements as a country and now they've become world leaders in IVF so I went to Dr. Pantos' uh, clinic. I didn't say who I was. I didn't expect any special treatment, although in retrospect I should have. Um, but I went there and um, I uh, got pregnant on my second attempt. Um, that unfortunately led to a very complicated pregnancy which resulted in uh, the reduction of, um, of two children because I um, was overly pregnant, I suppose. Uh, one of my eggs had split into two. And, um, and I originally got told I was expecting twins and then got told, in fact, it was triplets because of this egg splitting. And that was not uh, something due to IVF, that was an act of nature or God. So in order to protect one of the children, because the two were uh, in a situation of um, sabotaging each other because they were sharing the same utilities, I had to reduce the two, which was the antithesis of everything I'd been working towards, in order to, s to save the singleton. Um, so I did that reluctantly, and it was the most difficult decision of my life, but I did it. Um, that was at 11 weeks, and then um, week 21, my waters broke with my daughter, uh, Stevie, and two weeks later I gave birth to her and she was stillborn. So that was a very, very difficult thing because I'd worked so hard to get to the point where I was finally pregnant. So instead of giving up, which wasn't an option for me, I decided somehow, and I don't know how, but I did, to uh, get up and go again and again and again. And after my 22nd attempt, I was at the end of the road, or at least I thought I was. And um, my husband said, just one more try. And um, so we did that one more try. And um, that was the, uh, the attempt that you gifted me. We thank you both very much for your time.